boys, and welcome back to another oh, hiccupy little, uh, let's just, you know, chat things up a little. So, first and foremost, yes, as the title suggests, I was entered into a tournament. No, I did not win. Um, so the story there, long story short... I made a deal with a friend that if they ever got first place in a tournament, I would go and I would practice and enter into a tournament with them. And sure enough, like two days later, they won a tournament. They won a duos tournament and I had to take place in a tournament with them, which normally would have been all fine and dandy and that it was for Warzone, Ugh, Battle Royales. But I was like, okay, whatever. I just have to play a couple games of Warzone. No big deal. <sighs> Boy, was I wrong. So, the, um, no big deal was actually a really big deal. I got eyeball itchy. Um, Obviously, I don't play Battle Royales very much, and I played Warzone for essentially two weeks. And it wasn't for a long time in those two weeks, and that was for Shooters Week. Well, apparently you needed 200 games to be able to enter into tournaments. I had about 60, and I had... About 24 to 48 hours to get 200 games. So I played roughly 140 out, yeah, 140 games in 24 hours. I hate battle royale games. It was not fun to me. But we ended up losing the tournament anyway. The day of the tournament comes around. I get everything all set and ready. Everything is great. And uh, we got 7th. And everybody's like, hey, 7th. At least you placed. Yeah, not really. There were 10 teams. <laughs> um, But admittedly, you know. I don't play Battle Royales very much, and we got some really crappy lobbies. How it was, was like, if we placed, like, if we got in a top 10 situation, we got points. And then, if we got kills, we got points. And our two best games were the ones that were, like, the deciding factor. And we just got some really crappy lobbies. So, and I was so burnt out by this point, I... I didn't even want to look down the sight of a gun, let alone try to play a tournament. But, you know, whatever. So, yeah, that's me doing a tournament. Next, um, my my analytics and, no, algorithm and analytic tests. So, I uh, I was doing the, like, putting a like and subscribe thing on the videos for a little bit and you guys probably noticed that I stopped doing that so the like and subscribe thing there was no change there's cat hair like all over my mic you couldn't tell that I have three cats could you anyway there was no change in my analytics uh, between the like week week and a half of me putting that in there versus not putting that in there so there was no fluctuation there there was like it, everything was exactly how it was and so it leads me to believe that while you're still a smaller channel like myself doing something like the like subscribe and ring the bell thing little animation for it is not going to be beneficial because 
nine times out of ten, the people who already watch your stuff already do that, or they're on a system of which they cannot do that. And so it's not going to change anything. You're not getting very many new eyes on your video. Now, that goes without saying, you know, everybody has that chance to have that one video blow up out of nowhere. Like, I don't know. For example, my Bless Unleashed. My, uh, my character class review on Bless Unleashed. My highest viewed video. 61, 62,000 views. Something like that. That blew up out of nowhere, and all of my Bless Unleashed stuff blew up out of nowhere. Obviously, half of you guys are here from Bless Unleashed, and half of you guys only want Bless Unleashed. Guess what? It's not going to happen. Um, but uh, that blew up out of nowhere. I have a feeling if it would have been on that, it would have had a small impact. But for smaller channels where you don't have very much discoverability right out the gate, it's not going to do too much. It That's just what I found. Um, you know, it that that's just my opinion. You know, maybe for bigger channels it would do something and it would work. But I don't know. I'd have to get to being a big channel to be able to test that. Um, so... The like, subscribe, and ring the bell, it just is tedious. I mean, it doesn't take very long to put into a video, but it's tedious. And to me, personally, I don't like going like, hey guys, you know, make sure you like and subscribe and all that, you know. Like, I say, you know, make sure you like the video and stuff like that at the end of the video. But one of the things that I always hated whenever I watch YouTube is when content creators are like trying to push it down your throat like I used to watch this one channel rather frequently and then they got members and they were able to have members and they always pushed being a member down your throat like guys make sure you become a member to the channel because you know it's only this much and you know it helps me out a lot and I'll really appreciate it and they had like 15 20 minute videos and they probably said it like five to ten times per video and it just got to be too much they were pretty much making a video around people becoming members and then a little bit of content it was just i don't like it it's not who i am it's not what i like if you guys like the video like the video especially at the beginning of a video you never know like, I, I see some YouTubers go like, hey guys, before we get started, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. Like, you don't know if you're going to like the video. Like, I, I could make an absolutely hot garbage video. You know, it it's, it's not like you know right off the bat. Like, hey, this is Need for Speed Underground 2 Part 2. 13 this is going to be a real good video and it could just be me driving around in a circle going hi 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 you know you, you never know what the video could actually be so it's not i i don't think say, uh, putting stuff at the beginning of the video works because it turns a lot of people away and the stuff at the end of the video if people watch to the end and get to that point, chances are that they're probably more inclined to like, subscribe, comment, all that other stuff. So, uh, that's about it for right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Uh, and you know what? If you got here, leave that like. I got you. I see you. Also, make sure you guys go out and make somebody's day today. It's so easy. You could do, do something so simple. You know, it's starting to get real nice out, but for some people out in the Midwest, you guys got a real bad snowstorm. It could be as easy as going out and shoveling your uh, neighbor's uh, driveway or, you know, like cleaning off their car whenever you go to leave for work. You see their car has five feet of snow on top of it. You clean it off for them real quick. You know, something simple like that. Just something simple, something nice. You know, if it's nice out for you, maybe 
get some flowers that you know your neighbor likes or your significant other even and just give them some flowers it's nice it's fun it's easy it's cheap or free it just takes a little bit of time so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time bye guys